Hey guys, welcome back to Boosted Gaming. So I have another brand new build video for you. This one is going to be around some crazy ideas. We want explosive damage. We want it to be skill. And it turned out to be like a rainbow. Rainbow rolled. It's interesting. It's, it's a hodgepodge. But it works. It's an interesting build. You guys will really like it. Stuff anybody can build this, I swear to god. It's interesting. Let's roll it. All right, guys. So, getting into this build here, you can see we've started off with the technician specialization. Uh, because it brings us an additional skill tier. We're not stacked into as many skill tiers as we would normally be with on a skill build. So this is going to help keep our uh, damage up while also uh, allowing us to get that much closer to overcharging uh, with our overall weapons. So you can see here we've opted for the mechanical animal. As you guys know, this one brings future perfection, which is going to grant one skill tier uh, for 19 seconds. And it stacks up to three times, and that's per kill. So you get three kills. That's three skill tiers that will hold you for 19 seconds. If you get to skill tier six and you still have one or two kills left, if you get that kill, it will put you into overcharge. That's where your skills really go into crazy, crazy things and do a lot of damage. As you guys know, on skill builds, I tend to run the Bullet King as my secondary. That can be seen here, primarily because the Bullet King doesn't require a reload. As soon as I pick it up, as soon as I start firing it, I don't have to reload at all. There's no magazine for me to worry about. The thing is just constant fire, constant death. Getting to the actual pistol here, we have the TDA card custom. Again, I love this pistol because it brings with it the skill tier, and that is really the reason why we opt for this pistol. So getting into the actual pieces, you'll see here that we got a couple of reds as well as a couple of yellows. So we're actually stacked primarily into a lot of explosive damage, right? So China Light Industries, Mask, 15% explosive damage. You can see it's also rolled with skill damage, skill haste, skill haste mod. Getting into the chess piece, we opted for the Grupo. Now a lot of people are going to go like, why would you go Grupo? Well, it's not for the one piece bonus, that's for sure. That does bring a 15% critical hit damage uh, buff to it. But it's primarily for that second piece. And you can actually see that these are rainbow rolls, right? So we got the weapon damage, we have skill damage, and we have armor regen. Not the most ideal, but not bad for what we're going to be using them for. And apparently I have an empty gear mod slot, which is typically taken up by a skill haste mod. So we'll have to fill that in a little later. Getting into the holster here, you can see we got to for the wyvern wear. Typical on a skill build, you're bringing skill damage, skill haste, and then obviously with the one piece brings with it skill damage. Hannah Yu, another brand set you see in a lot of skill builds. Bringing with it skill haste with a one piece, skill damage with a two piece. This one also has skill haste and skill damage rolled into it. The gloves here are that second piece of Hannah Yu. Again, skill damage, skill haste. <laughs> it's a, a constant pattern, right guys? Backpack, this is our other piece of Grupo. This is what actually brings us 15% explosive damage with a two piece. Like I said, we're stacked into a lot of explosive damage, and that's kind of where we want to be with this build. We don't want to be uh, focused so much on all skills, just the explosive damage, because we're running Seekers on this build. If we were running anything else, we would probably want to have more skill damage built into it, a little bit more haste maybe built into it. Um, but you can see here that it's a rainbow roll. Again, not ideal. However, for what we're using it for, it works perfectly fine. You can see the talent on this one is combined arms. Shooting an enemy increases total skill damage by 25% for 3 seconds. Sounds kind of short, but if when you're constantly trying to proc overcharge using your mechanical animal, combined arms will almost always be up, except for when you're tossing your skill out. Other than that, you're typically always shooting, so that will constantly be proccing. You'll constantly be getting 25% additional damage. I didn't go over it, but the talent on the chest is skilled. The reason I opt for skilled is because with Seekers, we're going to get 10 of them. And every time you proc a kill, right? So every time you get a kill, you have a 25% chance to completely reset your skill cooldowns. So right now, like let's say you've got a 25 second cooldown. Your drone's on cooldown. You get a kill with a uh, Seeker. Not only are you going to reset your Seekers, you're also going to reset your drone. Love skilled as a talent primarily for that because 
we don't want to sit there and wait for cooldowns if we don't have to. Give ourselves the best chance of completely resetting them if we can. Getting into the skills here, you can see that we have uh, the drone hitting at about uh, almost 70k damage, which isn't bad seeing as how it's only currently leveled at a skill tier 5. Um, again, once you hit skill tier 6 and then overcharge, that'll be putting that up over 100,000 damage uh, while it's out doing its thing. And then the base damage of our of our uh, Seekers here, as you can see, is just over 3 million which is fantastic. Most skill builds, even when you proc into a lot of explosive damage, are probably about 2.7, right? So these are actually over three, and that's at skill tier five. Skill tier six, it brings it up to 3.2. Um, and then if you can get it overcharged, you're gonna go closer to 3.7 to 4 million, believe it or not. And it's insane when these things hit, especially when they're overcharged, so. Lots of damage output, guys. Lots of explosive damage built into this whole thing. Not a whole lot of weapon damage, but like I said, this is a skill build based primarily for explosive damage. That's what we set out to do. That's what you got here. It's a fun build, guys, as you can see in the video that uh, should be currently playing. And that's all I got for you on this one, guys. This is build one uh, for our skill build series. I do have a couple more skill builds coming out to you guys one that's primarily focused around actual skill damage which is good for turrets drones sniper turrets uh that kind of thing um and then we have uh, our skills like our healer builds which are also skill builds in the grand scheme of things and our status skill builds so dude, like i said this is build one in the series um primarily focusing on explosive damage so if you like what you saw guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button down in the description below will also be a link for our discord follow us there that's uh, where you can find tsws where you can also find me and we have almost 10,000 members which is fantastic it's a huge community guys always looking to help everybody out whether it be um with legendary content heroic content raids anything to do with division 2 a lot of people always helping out um, but as well as other games, Call of Duty, uh, Destiny, we're active on all kinds of games, all different platforms. So come by, check us out, guys. And until the next video, I'll catch you later. Peace.